this will be the last episode, last one of these because it's the last episode, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's the last episode because I heard people say it's the finale and I just watched it. And wow. It was. Well, to be honest, before I watched this episode, I knew there was. Like, I saw things on YouTube. I didn't actually see them, but like, I saw like clips. I didn't see clips, but I saw like it in my subscription box because I follow people who watch it. But I didn't click on it because I thought I may as well just wait till I watch the episode before I see the scenes, basically. But it was like, I, f I think it, it was the first scenes of them together, fully. Like, the longest or second scenes of them actually together of the whole season. And, um, interesting episode. I'd, it was sort of the episode that I didn't know what to expect for this episode, to be honest. I didn't know what, what was going to happen. And I, I, I think this show is like that. I think it's one of those shows that you can't really predict. You can't really predict what the show is going to do, what's going to happen. And I think that's a good thing. I think that's a good thing to not know what's going to happen. You know, because it keeps you on your toes and it keeps you watching it, you know. That being said, sometimes sh predictable shows, I don't think... I think predictable shows can be good as well because sometimes it's nice to predict what's going to happen. But I do like not being able to predict what's going to happen. Anyway, it started off with a, a scene when they were in this sort of ballroom sort of thing. Like a, well, I don't know, like a dance? I don't know. And basically, Verna was sat there, then Eve walked up. And it was like the, it was like a date in my opinion. It seemed like a date, you know? And it seemed like, I don't know, it seemed like... Just end here, you know, just end <laughs> End on the day and then that that would have been a happy ending, wouldn't it? The end of the day and nothing else happened. <laughs> I didn't get a message, I got a, a Reddit message. <sighs> um but yeah, it was but then it didn't and then this woman, she that was from the other episodes, she was wearing black. The one who wears black, but not the woman in black but yeah, if you've seen the woman in black, she is so the movie. Oh my god, that woman in black in the movie. I'm so like it, honestly, I think that movie is like it is a little spooky because if you've seen the movie, like I feel like it makes me a bit scared when I go to bed because I feel like she's going to be there. <laughs> you know, I feel like I'm seeing something in the dark. I don't, yeah, I don't want that to be honest. But um, but yeah, and then she was she took Villanelle to some place, and then Villanelle kills her. But I feel like she brought it on herself though, because she started like beating her up and then she did not expect for another to kill her. I didn't expect for another to kill her. But I mean <sighs> Villanelle will she will kill, you know, she's not afraid to kill. But she seemed a bit reluctant, like she didn't really want to, but she just couldn't it was more an emotional kill. Because I feel like some of the kills she does are not emotional. But this one was an emotional kill. And to be honest, wasn't really sad about that death because she was literally like, just, she seemed, I don't know, she wasn't really like, the most, she, I don't know, I guess she was, she was trying to, she was just in Villanelle's way, to be honest, and, you know, she seemed to be just jealous of the world that Villanelle had, you know, and, honestly, I don't think she must have not been the better, um, assassin because she got killed, you know. But anyway, after that scene, basically, he goes to like this place and she's to get a package. And she tries to bribe them, but it doesn't work. Tula, Tula, my name is Tula. Um, I live at the. I think it's yeah. I think that's the song about that. But and then she gets the package. And then Constantine. And honestly, I'm gonna lie. I feel, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like I've started to like Constantine more and more for some reason. I don't know. Like, not that I hate him before, but I don't know, I, just, I feel like I'm just, like, on his side more. I don't know why. I think it's just because he's just very, like, like, he doesn't pretend. You know what I mean? That's what I like about him. Like, he's just, he's not mean, though, at the same time, weirdly. Like, weirdly, he's kind of, like, you can actually, like, tell him what to do, weirdly. But at the same time, like, he does what he wants, you know? But at the same time, he's, like, he will, he will be, like, listen and stuff like that. If you get me, obviously he's not the nut, and I, I'm not saying he's a good guy or anything, but, you know, but I don't think he's the worst guy, you know, that's why I guess I don't hate him, but yeah, and he just, he escaped out of the hospital, well not escaped, but he went where he shouldn't have, and Dash just died, and I called him a loser, so. but she died, so I mean, <laughs> he's still, so, you know, 
really a good thing to say, really. You know, like, I mean, I don't, and to be honest, I don't know. I feel like it's just, oh, you've got no ambition. Like, which I don't know. I don't know why people use it as an assault, but I think it's like not even an assault because it's like so, like, it's like the most you can think that I have no ambition. Like, not even like the worst thing in the world to have no ambition, in my opinion. You know, like, I think sometimes it's okay to have no ambition because we could just be happy with what we have. So, that's why you could not be ambitious. So, I'm not saying it's a bad thing to be ambitious, but I don't think it's a bad thing to be not ambitious, to be honest. But anyway, but she died and she was like, Ugh. I didn't think she was going to die. I thought like she was going to like have more role. Like she was going to stay like, you know, she was going to be more, but no, she just died. Anyway, anyway, they both bump into each other, basically, and Eve just like, Eve, Eve just doesn't care anymore. She just, she just, see what she feels, and she's, she's like, you know, you're not having it, you're not having it. And then basically, Villanelle is at the office. And, um, this is a scene that before they're at the office, basically, that, um, time plastic scene with Caroline. Because there was two, loads of multiple storylines, but, and Caroline... It kind of made me a bit laugh about this time plastic story. I understand though, because when someone takes, like, it annoys me when people like take my chocolate. Like, I don't realise I will hide. I've had to hide my chocolate because some people take my chocolate even though I tell them like don't take it, and they do, and and I know face to take it. So I understand they get filming it, but I mean I wouldn't. I don't know. I've never personally filmed it, but I understand why. But it actually helped the situation. So I mean, what? <laughs> Worked out in the end again. <laughs> and um, basically, found out that Constantine was there where when Kenny died. And it looks like it was a suicide, but he's sort of cons not a suicide, but he fell. Kind of like a suicide, or kind of like a manslaughter suicide, if you get me. <sighs> From what. what from what it seems, and then the all uh, anyway, but then the next time they're at the office, basically, Villanelle was there and she was waiting for Eve, and then they all sort of ended up meeting up, basically, and then they all go over to this guy's house, who gets shot, which I was not expecting. I don't know, obviously not, but above that he got shot. To be honest, I do see that actor a lot though, that same actor. <laughs> so, but yeah. But yeah, kind of glad that she shot him over Constantine. But she was just like, right in your face, was like. And she was like, oh yeah, it's just, but it's really weird that Caroline, she's literally done the same thing that Eve has done with Villanelle, you know? She's like, fell for someone that she shouldn't really, and Caroline's done that. So sometimes she's. I don't know, the way she said that, she's like, oh, not this again with Eve, but like, she's like, done the same. She's sort of similar in ways in that sense. You know, she's sort of getting involved in it. And I think that's Caroline, she, I feel like Caroline acts like she's not involved in some, like she's, I don't know, she's an interesting character, but at the same time I do find her a bit like, I don't hate her, but I don't, wouldn't want to know her because if she's just too cold for me, like, to her own daughter she says leave, like that's really not very nice. Like, honestly, if my mum said that to me, I would, honestly, I was like, fine, I'm gonna leave. I would literally just say, I'm gonna leave, I'm not gonna, I'm, you know what, I'm not gonna talk to you again. Because if you're gonna be like that, if someone tells me, if someone is gonna be so rude to me, I'm just not gonna bother with you, you know? And I would just be like, I would like, I'm leaving, and you know what, don't bother texting me. You know what I say? I'm, no, I would say, I'm not gonna text you or anything. I'm, I'm, I'm honestly, I would be like, you know what, I'm, I'm gonna wait for apology, basically. <laughs> you know? But yeah, anyway, Caroline does not shoot Constantine. She, she didn't get she was nearly going to, and then everyone was like, what? Like, he was shot, she was like, what? Like, I did not see this coming from you, Caroline. And then, then Constantine went, and Villanelle did not go with Constantine. And Villanelle kind of seemed like she was sick of him. And he was just like, oh, I, I don't, he was like, you want to come? But and then he was like, fine, don't come. Like, I feel like, to be honest, I feel like he wouldn't have minded her coming, like, he might, he would enjoy the company, but at the same time, I feel like he, he can, you know, like, he doesn't mind his own company, so I feel like either way, he was like, I'm fine either way, like, I'm just out of it, you know, you know, whatever, you know. And then, basically, I mean, it was good to find out why, like, what actually happened to Kenny, and I think it was, it was weird, because I feel like I, I expected more, I expected maybe, 
I don't know, maybe he got killed, but it seems like he, he didn't, you know, he didn't, and it was kind of like, there was, I don't know, I didn't, there was no, like, someone who was out, I don't know, it wasn't, like, as sinister as it makes out, but it's still sad, in a sense, in a sense it makes it kind of sadder, because, if that word sadder, but, like, because it wasn't actually, like, as, like, it could have been avoided, you know, the whole, like, it just happened like that, you know, I do believe Constantine, because I think Const Kenny could be, could have been the son, his son, so I don't think he would go out of his way to kill Kenny, you know, I think he did care for him in some sort of way, so I do believe him, but at the same time, I think he tried to help, but he didn't really, it failed, you know, completely, and maybe he should have just left it alone, you know, but yeah, and maybe not done it, talked on the roof, you know, maybe not the best to talk on the roof, because accidents like that can happen and stuff. But yeah, and then they all left, and he, it was kind of confusing. I remember Caroline said something, and she was like, she said this thing to Eve, and Eve was like, I don't know what you mean, and I'm thinking to myself, I don't know what she meant by that, like called her, and I don't know what she meant by that. Comment below if it, because it, recently, the comments are disabled again. It literally stopped doing this, but now it started again, disabling the comments, but if you can comment below, what does that actually mean, because I don't like, I feel like I'm just like, what do you actually mean, Caroline? I don't know. I don't know what you meant by that. Like, I feel like it's obvious, but I just don't know. <laughs> I just don't know. And honestly, like, I thought they were going like, I don't even know that ending. That ending happened. That ending, I felt like a cliffhanger. Did they? Because I thought like they were full on going to music. Like, I thought they were going to like talk and maybe just walk into the future together, you know, or kiss maybe a kiss. But no, then in a sense, the villain else seemed to say basically make them walk away from each other. But then they sort of stopped at the end of it and looked at each other and that is a cliffhanger to me because I don't know if they walked back to each other or they just left and that was just like, yeah, we're going now. I don't know. And I don't know if there's going to be another season. And if there is going to be another season, will they be together or not? I mean, it's weird because I feel like Villanelle was the one who seemed to like Eve at the start, but I don't know. But now it feels like Eve likes Villanelle more. You get me? But I don't know. Maybe just Villanelle liked the idea of Eve rather than actually Eve. I don't know. But it was a good episode. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I don't, to be honest, I'm not upset because I don't know like if I really expected them to get together, you know. I expect them to maybe get together, but I don't know. I didn't have high hopes, you know. Like, I didn't go in. It's only this season that I actually started to truly think they could like I knew Villanelle liked Eve, but I didn't know Eve liked Villanelle back, so, you know, I don't like to get my hopes up and stuff, so, you know, but it was only this season, but, you know, if, if, so, and I'm not really, I think the whole situation is quite complicated, and we've never really seen them interact in a sense that, like, they've never gone on dates, they've never, like, spent a lot of time together, like, you know, to really feel the relationship out, but I would, I would have liked to see that, I wish that they actually, like, them on like the end bit of them saying we're going to try and see how it goes with us too and if it didn't work out I at least like would rather them be tried but then again maybe them trying and not working out isn't actually like if you think about it like it might not be as good like at least they could have had something but they didn't better than something that they tried and it failed I don't know but then again isn't it better to try than to fail isn't it better to try than to fail? Anyway, but I did enjoy this episode and I enjoyed this episode and it was a great finale episode and now I, I, I do want another season but will there be another season? I don't know. I feel like maybe not but because I feel like that seemed like it was the end. It really did, to be honest. But I don't know. You know, it's only three seasons so I don't know. No one's really said anything about another season but no one's said anything about not another season so. Uh, but yeah. And what were my favourite moments? Um, my favourite moments were... I like the fantastic moments. I don't know, I just, I just I found the situation a bit funny to be honest because like... I just, the fact that he did that like got filmed someone. Because <laughs> he did the sweets. And he, and, he said, and he said he had like two packets a day. That's quite a I was thinking, that's a lot of packets. That's, I mean, I know, I know, I, I know he didn't mean the 10p ones. <laughs> I think he meant the big ones. But yeah, I mean, I guess he really loves them. <laughs> and, um, what else?
else. And they liked to, the moment when they were like all together. And like, Caroline was there, then you know, Eva was there, and it was like that. And we a weird scene where they were all somehow together, all there. And it was just a weird, it was all weird situation, you know what I mean? It felt like one of those situations where, I don't know, like in real life or anything, where it's just like, what is this? What is why is this? Them there, this them there. Like, I feel like it's just, I don't know, I feel like it's just a bunch of weirdos in a room. Like, I don't know. <laughs> You know what I mean? Because like, Eva Villanelle, both a bit weird, in a good way. Constantine, not that weird, but it's a little weird. You know, alternative sort of lifestyle, you get me, you get me. Caroline, a bit, because she had something with Constantine and she thought that she was quite secretly about it. And the fact that she's trying to fucking know what, know what um, is going on, and it's like, sort of same sort of situation that Villanelle and Eva have. And then we just like, oh, but anyway, thank you for watching and this will be the last, you're not going to see a video of me doing Killing Eve, unless it's another season, or unless someone wants me to do a follow up or something like that, I don't know. And yeah, I don't know where my next video will be, I don't know, anyway, I'll mark my next video will be about, but anyway, thank you for watching, hope you have a nice night, peace out.